Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you with some news and some updates with our very own Buffalo Bills. Starting off with the news of the day, Nathan Peterman <laughs> has been named your week one starter against the Ravens this Sunday at 1 p.m. in Baltimore is going down. Now, let's just get this out of the way. Your boy's been calling this since last year. I've been calling for Nate to get his start and get his opportunity since last year. He had to go through his lumps. Everybody and their mama knows about that Chargers game. But that is behind us. That's way behind us. We are ready to attack this year. My man has put in work. Resiliency. Hard work. Heart. Grit. Sweat. You know what I'm saying? You're going through that humble stage. You know what I'm saying? Where everybody's trashing you, trashing your name, your family name, all that good stuff. But my man kept humble. Y'all gotta keep it, let's keep it a buck. He kept humble, kept his nose down, kept working, it's now paying off. He's now the starter. He's earned it. Every single thing he's done this off scene, he's earned it. Camp, mini camp, training camp. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the off season, preseason games. My man threw 80% completion. Maybe this offense is made for him. Now, let's not get it twisted. Josh Allen is the franchise. Josh Allen is the future. There's no question about it. At one point, the keys will be handed over to him. But right now is the process. We got to trust the process, right? And right now, the process is in Nate Peterman's hands. It's the Nate Peterman process. NPP. Are you down with MPP? Because right now, your boy is down. You feel me? Now, let's keep it moving. All jokes aside, this is now business. Every one of us have now got to rally around the quarterback that is going to be leading us. We're cheering for the same team. We're cheering for the blue, the red, and the white. There's no Team McCarron traded. There's no Josh Allen there's no Team Peterman. Now it's Team Bills. We now root for one team. We root for one reason, and that's to win this Sunday. You guys already know, I do my preview shows and I get hyped. I'm already hyped now because I just turned on my damn YouTube and I got this Ravens fans talking all this junk, talking about, woo, Nate Peterman, who? You know, the guy that threw five interceptions? Yeah, yeah, we're going to eat. What? So he's going to be the same quarterback from last year? I don't think David Cully is going to sit here and put his name and his reputation on the line and say, you know what, start Peterman, knowing full well Josh Allen should be the guy. If he's saying start Peterman, he means it. That means Peterman is ready. You think Brian Dable is going to sit here and be like, man, Josh Allen runs my offense way better, but I'm just going to throw Peterman in just because. No, he's earned it, and the guys in that offensive room know it. So we need to rally behind this quarterback, rally behind this team, and bring that shit to the Ravens. Now, we've made some changes, we've made some cuts, and I wanna go through them, just so we can touch base on what our roster is gonna look like going into week one. We already know who our quarterbacks are. Peterman, number one. Josh Allen, number two. Logan Thomas, number three. They've got Logan Thomas playing the Joe Webb role. He's the emergency quarterback. Go figure. Running backs. LaShawn McCoy, my boy. You got Chris Ivory, Marcus Murphy, Taiwan Jones. Who? Taiwan Jones. However, guess who's climbing up the ladder? That's Marcus Murphy. Marcus Murphy is pushing a little bit to get to the number two spot. So him and Ivory have got a little something going down. I like that. Keep an eye on that running back position. Tight ends. Shocker. Nick Orley recut. My boy Bobby is not dealing well with it. He is... <laughs> He's at home boo-hoo-hooing. Get over it. We need athleticism on this team. We need guys that can stretch the field. We need guys that when they catch the ball, they're making moves. Now, I'm going to miss O'Leary. No gloves, catches everything. I like it. But when you don't have the athleticism that we need for this team to succeed, you got to go. So, and I'm sick and tired of everybody talking about Jack Nicholas and all. Yeah, man, you, got, you can take that somewhere else. So, we got Logan Thomas, Charles Clay. 
Jason Kroom, and Kyrie Lee. For those that don't know who Kyrie Lee is and what Kyrie Lee is about, he is our blocking tight end. We need a guy that can get in the trenches, pick up some blocks, and drive people back. Not only that, he can make plays on the field. So there goes our tight end room. Now, on the old line, we've got Dion Dawkins, Vlad Dukas, Groy is now our actual center. He is our starting center. He beat out Bodine. We got John Miller at the guard spot, and we got Mills uh, that is going to be taking the right tackle spot. McDermott makes the squad. Six foot seven, 315 pounds, athletic, but doesn't have a lot of mass to him. But he's athletic enough that he can make some moves at right tackle as a swing. Then we have Newhouse that made the bottom end of that old line. We can now focus on some of the changes that we've made, the subtle changes. The receiving core, Kelvin Benjamin, Zay Jones, Jeremy Curley, Andre Holmes, Ray Ray McLeod, nursing a small injury, but I hope he's ready for week one, and the speedster in Robert Foster. Y'all gotta give it up, man. That was one name that nobody could say was gonna make this squad after all the drops and the inconsistencies that we had all camp long. But my man battled through. And they see something in him that allowed him to make that team. Brandon Riley getting cut. That rib injury really set him behind and never got a, never let him get a chance to get back into it. But that's the way it works. So we got to roll with what we got. The O-line hasn't changed. Ryan Groy is now our starter. Bodine made a, a valiant push, but just not enough. So Ryan Groy, welcome to the starting O-line. I'm hoping that you bring some leadership and continuity and get these boys in line. We need every one of you guys in line to protect the quarterback behind center. Defense hasn't changed. The D-line is the same. Linebacking crew, Vallejo's gone. Julian Stanford in. The DBs. This is where it gets tricky. Philip Gaines is pushing. He's pushing a little bit on Vontae Davis. Vontae Davis, disappointing end of preseason. You were supposed to solidify that spot across from Trey White. Now it's a revolving door. We don't know who's going to start. So Philip Gaines. If you are that guy, you better step up and show us because we know you can run. But can you get that ball? Can you track that ball down? And that's what we need. Ladies and gentlemen, week one is upon us. Jump in these comments. Let me know how you feel. Are you, are you, are you nervous? Are you nervous for this game? If you are, you have every right to be because truth be told, I'm nervous as hell as well. I'm nervous. I rooted for Nate Peterman this whole time and now it's happening. Now it's go time. There's no, I'm not babying him. I'm going to do the same thing I did to Tyrod. If he's trash, I'm getting after that ass. I'm not playing no games. I'm not going to give him no leeway. It is what it is. If you playing like garbage, you're going to get the boo bird on your ass. However, we got to support the man. Is he going to throw interceptions? Hell yeah, he's going to throw interceptions. Is he going to take sacks? Hell yeah, he's going to take sacks. But that's part of the game. That is part of the game that we love to watch and we love to root for. Remember, we are all rooting for one team. We are all rooting for one team. The red, white, and blue. Y'all need to recognize that we are all one team. We root for one team. We root for one quarterback. We got to do it all jokes aside. You know what I'm saying? And right now, we have an opportunity, man. Everybody is 0-0. No wins, no losses. We prepare this week. We put the game plan together. No more vanilla looks. No more vanilla offensive play calls. We are going to get in the bag and pull out gems and start spraying boys. We got to put points on the board. That's why we play the game. We play to win the game. That's exactly what's going down. It's your boy. If you guys appreciate the videos and the content that are coming to you from Buffalo Fanatics, like, subscribe, click that little notification bell to let you know exactly when we go live or when the video is getting dropped just like this one so comment below tell me if you like it tell me if you love it tell me if you hate it give me your opinions what do you guys feel how do you guys like this quarterback situation how do you like this defense are you worried about this defense is this defense going to be a problem for us are they going to set us back offensively are you worried is our running back situation okay has LeSean McCoy he's been quiet are we worried is this old line gonna hold up so many questions we're about to find out this week. Week one, it's the Ravens. It's your boy. And I'm gone. Baby.